Prince Harry is destroyed. Meghan's caught in compromising situation, crying, don't leave me. Rebecca Desario, Mad World News reports. Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, have not been seen in public together for over an amazing 24 days. And now we know why. There's a crisis brewing behind the scenes as the prince is destroyed, catching Meghan in a compromising situation, quote unquote. As bogus claims spread across the internet, claiming the couple was in Italy or she had fled to Toronto, Kensington Palace in London refused to confirm the fake news. Now Megan's crying as she begs Harry, don't leave me. Well, I thought that her mother was supposed to be joining her in London, that she was leaving, the mother was leaving the United States to be with her daughter in London. And my thoughts were going to the fact that perhaps she was thinking of becoming pregnant very soon because she's already 37 years old. Now, rumors have flooded the tabloids reporting Harry and Meghan were on a mini honeymoon in Italy visiting their friends, George and Amal Clooney, at their villa there. But there was conflicting, confusing news because at the same time, Meghan was supposedly fleeing to Toronto, according to other outlets, and Harry had stayed in Botswana in Africa to avoid the Duchess after a big blow up between the newlyweds. Well, other reports say he was only there overnight. He had to go there because he was the patron of a rhino uh, charity. So he had to go there and he quickly came back to London. But there's all these types of conflicting news. The only trip abroad that was confirmed by Kensington Palace was Prince Harry's surprise trip to Botswana alone which was strangely absent from the official royal schedule for some reason. The first fissure in this fairy tale marriage happened when Harry caught Meghan pulling nasty PR stunts behind his back and after they had a big blow up, he took off for Botswana alone. As previously reported, Prince Harry is fed up and cannot believe a word the Duchess says when it comes to her past, especially when it comes to her father and does not want children until he can't trust her again, which is why Meghan may be scrubbed from Harry's big trip around abroad this fall, which gives further credence that the marriage is very rocky at this time. Well, the thing is, as we said, women have a biological clock. She's already 37 years old. What is she gonna do? How long is she going to wait? Megan's father, Thomas Markle, is at the center of this new compromising situation, isn't it? That? That's very unfortunate. Because uh, Thomas Markle, Megan's father, keeps on giving these interviews and he's always squealing everything they say to each other over the phone. Whatever he says with Harry, whatever he says with Megan, he just cannot seem to keep quiet. And this is a, a very disturbing attitude even for people that are not royals, just everyday people. You can't go around telling people what you just said with your daughter and your son-in-law. And it's a thousand times worse, of course, with the paparazzi eager for news from, from these British royals. The prince's grandparents, Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth II, are greatly concerned that their grandson Harry has been duped by Meghan and are providing him with information that contradicts her previous claims about her father, Thomas Markle. Quote, the palace could not figure out what was truth and what were lies when it came to Megan's claims about her father. Thomas Markle's outburst caused Megan to instruct her royal aides to change her phone number so you could not reach her. And then the Daily Mail comes out with salacious reports by a, quote, close Megan confidant, end quote, that her father is a loony narcissist, a palace source told the uh, news. Quote, Megan's had to deal with a lot of self-esteem issues growing up with a narcissist. She has tools to cope with emotional blackmail. She does pray for him. That's Megan. She does not have a bad bone in her body, but she's not uh, falling for her dad's crocodile tears either. 
she's been down that road far too many times before, unquote, said a source close to the Duchess. And that prompted Thomas Markle again to retaliate in the press, as we said, he just doesn't let go. Even though Prince Harry uh, very uh, politely asked him not to talk to the press because uh, they can be very brutal. And uh, he asked him not to give any interviews. Well, Thomas Markle did not listen to Prince Harry. In fact, at that time when Harry asked him not to talk to the press, Thomas Markle hung up the phone on Prince Harry. So that prompted Thomas Markle to retaliate in the press, which then caused an enormous embarrassment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. Was Thomas Markle this horrible person and Meghan his victim, or was it the other way around? Was the palace protecting the Duchess, or were they engaged as a former American actress's unknowing accomplices to ghost her father, who didn't deserve this type of treatment? As the Queen at Balmoral Castle held crisis meetings on this situation surrounding the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, and her father, Thomas, Meghan continued to bash him to royal insiders, claiming she was the victim and needed the palace and Harry to protect her. That's when palace sources alleged that Prince Harry was alerted to a copy of something Meghan wrote, and that's when all hell broke loose. According to an article Megan penned for Elle magazine in 2015 about her biracial identity, she credits her father, not her mother, as the one person in her life who gave her the most guidance and strength. She wrote, quote, When I was about seven, I had been fawning over a box set of Barbie dolls. It was called The Hart Family and included a mom doll, a dad doll, and two children. This perfect nuclear family was only sold in sets of white dolls or black dolls. Megan continued, quote, I don't remember coveting one over the other. I just wanted one. One Christmas morning, swathing litter, flecked wrapping paper. There I found my heart family, a black mom doll, a white dad doll, and a child in either color. My dad had taken the sets apart and customized my family. Megan goes on to claim that she was upset after she did not know what box to check for her ethnicity at seventh grade. But when I went home that night, I told my dad what had happened. He said the words that have always stayed with me. Quote, if that happens again, you draw your own box. End quote. I never saw my father angry, but in that moment, I could see the blotchiness of his skin crawling from pink to red. This is what Megan Markle wrote. She used the situation as a defining moment in her life. It's her allegedly horrible narcissistic dad, who she never saw angry, and who was her guiding light. Reports coming out of Balmoral alleged that Harry was livid, feeling duped by Megan's incessant whining that her father was horrible, and that he basically abused her emotionally as a child. Which brings us to the latest report from Palace sources alleging that Megan was heard crying to Harry, don't leave me. That's bad news. When a wife, well, a new bride says to her husband, don't leave me? Oh my. The queen is faced with a rather delicate juggling act as more and more reports contradict Megan's accounts of her father and her majesty won't allow the full weight of the palace to come down on a man who by all accounts has been bullied and lied about by his beloved daughter. As the royal family braces for another potential scandal, there's no doubt the British monarch will stay true to this famous saying, quote, the crown must always win, end quote. Kindly support by contributing to my Patreon account. You'll find it in the description box below. Thank you.